Apple's Mac gaming approach just took a dramatic turn, and this change could redefine the entire gaming platform. And this is all because of a subtle change about the way in which they talk about the game porting toolkit, because for the very first time they have acknowledged the existence of third-party tools to play Windows games on your Mac, including Whiskey and Crossover. So up until this point, all the language around game porting toolkit has centered around the word evaluation. The first step is to use the game porting toolkit to evaluate your game. You start your reporting journey by using the included evaluation environment for Windows games. And the original intention around the Game 14 toolkit is that a developer would take their existing Windows game, run it through the real-time translation layer, evaluate it to see how much work it would take to actually bring this over to a native Mac port, debug any performance issues, convert the shaders using the Metal Shader Converter, and then fully port your game as a natively optimized Mac game. However, we as gamers haven't been using the Game 14 toolkit to evaluate games, we've been using it to play games. And that's because Game 14 toolkit includes D3D Metal, an advanced graphics translation layer which allows us to play Windows DirectX 12 and 11 games on the Mac, but this was never intended as an end user tool. It's meant to be for developers for evaluation only. However, it looks like with WWDC 2024, the language has now shifted and now it actually sounds like Apple are encouraging gamers to actually use this to game and not just to port. Here's an example from Craig Federighi from WWDC 2024. Developers have been able to bring their games to Apple devices faster than ever, and gaming enthusiasts can experience Experience more games on the Mac. And furthermore, here's a clip from the Platform State of the Union. With Game Porting Toolkit 2, you can now evaluate even more Windows games. So these two clips are very interesting. Firstly, we're looking at Cyberpunk 2077, a game with no Mac announced port, and which is very unlikely to be ported in the future, featured in an official Apple video. And secondly, Apple seemed to be acknowledging the existence of gaming enthusiasts, gamers who want to play a wide breadth of Windows games on the Mac, something a developer typically wouldn't be interested in because they're only going to be working on one or two games at a time. The next clip comes from one of the developer videos, Port Advanced Games to Apple Platforms. It's also so exciting how the community has embraced the tool and provided additional ways to get started evaluating your existing games through projects like Whiskey and Homebrew or products like Crossover. So here we have even more explicit acknowledgement that people are using Whiskey and Crossover in order to run their Windows games on a Mac. Although they do keep referring to this as evaluation, the reality is that Whiskey and Crossover are really aimed at game and not developers. And furthermore, Game Porting Toolkit 2 released this year now has even more gamer-centric upgrades. This includes the support for AVX instruction set, as well as ray tracing in Windows games too, plus improved compatibility and performance. Again, these are very gamer-focused updates. If you're a developer of a game, then you could easily implement ray tracing and provide fixes for AVX support. However, for us gamers, this makes us very excited. Game Porting Toolkit. Kind of melting the internet right now is what I've been told, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> As I've been covering on my YouTube channel over the last few days, the fact is that we can now take advantage of Windows game ray tracing, and this is before any native ARM Mac game has even implemented that feature, and we can now play a lot more Windows games on the Mac which used to require the AVX instruction set, and the more the game porting toolkit is developed, the more it seems like Apple are trying to get every single Windows game to run on a Mac. And this kind of reminds me of what Valve are trying to do with Proton. You see, game porting toolkit is based on the Wine translation layer, the same magic which allows Proton to run Windows games so beautifully on Valve's Steam Deck. But Apple are still hiding behind this idea of evaluating games rather than having players play them. And this doesn't make that much sense because this evaluation tool, with a tiny bit more support from Apple, could easily have the performance and compatibility of Proton. This Twitter reply from user Joseph Humphrey said it best. Crazy that Apple are sitting on Steam Deck like tech that can play Windows games on Mac under the guise of it being a tool to evaluate feasibility of a full port. And I understand why Apple aren't putting 100% of their effort behind Game Porting Toolkit's translation layer. And that's because Apple's main Mac gaming strategy is still to get as many natively optimized Mac ports as possible and hook people into Apple's software and hardware ecosystem. However, something in 2024 has changed. And this is filtered through all the way from the developer conference to the top of the main stage at WWDC by Craig Federighi himself. Now I don't know what Apple's future strategy for Mac gaming is gonna be, 
but behind the scenes it really looks like they're trying to expand as much Windows game compatibility on Mac as possible. So much so that even their official messaging on Game 14 Toolkit has changed. What this means for the future, I'm not really sure yet, but please make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Is Apple going all in on native ARM Mac gaming, or are they secretly developing Proton for Mac? And what exactly would that mean for the future of Mac gaming? Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.